Hello everyone, how's it going? Deadly Deed here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make coins in Madden NFL 20 and we're not going to be using the sniping method. We're going to do the exchange method as I, as I now call it. Um, shout out to Reaper for commenting this in uh, one of my videos. I actually didn't know about this before so he definitely gets all the credit. I'm just making it to, to show people how to do it. So right now you can see here we're in my binder. We're filtered by newest. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is so you know um, that I'm not cheating or like this is actually real. So the last card in my um, binder is Chris Jones. Okay, we have Julian Edelman. It, just in case these three uh, actually sell, we have Julian Edelman as the last card. Okay, first step is to go to the store. And spend anywhere between ten to fifteen thousand in get a player packs, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna count this towards the end. I'll let you know. We'll we'll do the math, right? We'll do the math together. The goal on this one is to get sixty-seven or sixty-six or higher, whatever it is, whatever the high silver is. That's what you want. If you get the low silver, it doesn't matter. If you get enough low silvers, it'll all work out. But what you're really hoping for you can't really influence the the, uh, the result but <laughs> you don't want a low silver like that guy so we're gonna spend between 10 to 15 thousand on here oh what do you know we already got a gold we'll check out who that is in a little bit but yeah I just like to kind of skip this yeah we will. we'll skip that to make it faster here uh, and I tested this method twice on two different uh, two different times, uh, just before I'm actually just before the making of this video, and I found that it was actually very profitable. Um, I pulled Marquise Pouncey as a power up, who is actually going for about uh, thirteen thousand. I got Chris Jones after I traded in everyone, who's going for about twenty twenty five thousand. Um, and honestly, I, I've, uh, I've tracked all my spend and it, it's honestly been profitable. So the reason why I think I prefer this method is that honestly, I have no patience for looking through the auction and figuring out, oh, is this the newest card? Like that's just not my thing. But you know, if that's your thing, go ahead and keep doing it. Um, I just thought that this was a little bit more guaranteed because you basically have to in the auction house you have to get really good RNG like someone else has to post it here you could just do this without anyone doing anything you know like this is just like literally all you and the end goal is really can you combine enough things uh, at the end of getting all these players in a way that justifies um, all these all these packs right so could you get enough value from, from combining these silvers and, and get some really nice pulls either as power-up cards or uh, as as elites if you get that lucky or high gold so uh, right now if, if we're talking about economics right the the get get a gold player is worth 5,000 coins and so, in theory, I think market price for uh, gold players would, the low golds would be below um, below 5,000 and the high golds should be uh, high 5,000. The reason being, oh my goodness, we pulled two golds. Um, the reason being is that if you're buying a low gold, it's like, why wouldn't you just get the why wouldn't you just get the gold pack because you would basically get a chance to get a better card than the low gold so that's why it's cheaper in my mind that's how it should work um, I don't know how much we've spent yet but probably not enough but we're gonna just, just keep going here I know you guys are probably laughing this oh three golds what are we doing today Wow So many get a player packs. He's probably like, oh, this guy doesn't have any coins. What is he talking about? Why is he? Why is he making a tutorial? Dude, just trust me on this. 
I mean, you can see I already pulled three gold, so I'm pretty sure I'm already ahead right now. Okay. Uh, let's go back to our binder here. Okay, so let's count. What do we got? Let's sort by newest. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so let's let's do the math here. I'm going to write it down. Sorry. So is it 23? 23 times 500 is 11.5, okay? So that's how much we spent. We spent a total of 11,500. And we already got lucky because we got three golds. And I don't know what these are going for, but let's just assume a conservative amount of, of 2,000. So I'm gonna wait to actually put those in sets. Yeah, 2,000 is probably a reasonable, reasonable assumption. Um, but we're gonna put the the other players in sets first. So let's do the 62, put it in the set, and make sure. Sorry, I already had a card there. You can't really blame me for that. I already had a card there. Uh, it's still just another silver, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the the rookies make sure that you are putting it in the gold exchange. Do not put it in the the rookie exchange. Okay. You want it in the gold exchange. Okay. Add to set. Yeah, so you basically just keep combining these sets. And I would honestly wait to do the golds last. Oh, look. Gold player pack. Okay, we're going to wait to do the golds last. Again, I'm still within my, my cards that I bought here. And another reason why, why you should do this is that it increases your, it should increase your mutt head pack tracker or whatever it is. Or, uh, not my head. Whatever the rewards is, Madden Rewards or whatever. I don't know what it's called. Okay, here. So, again, which is why this is the reason why you want the high uh, silvers, because otherwise you just have to combine them to get low silvers. Which is honestly just another extra step. So these are still ours, right? Yeah. Wow, that guy looked really cool. All right, Javon Wims. Put him, put you in the gold set here. Got a gold card. Oh. Damon Harrison Sr. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check how much this guy's going for. Eh, not as high as I'd like, but we'll, we'll see. So we'll, we'll calculate all our uh, profit before we do the gold. Let's see how that works out. Oops, sorry, did not mean to do auction there. Add to set. Gold exchange again, rookies. They gotta go in the gold exchange. Hunter Renfro. Oh, another power up card. Melvin Gordon. How much does this guy go for? Please tell me a lot. Oh no, not a lot. Ooh. How high does he go? I feel like he'd be he'd be uh Oh, he only goes up to 85. That's probably why. Okay, we got more players here. Add him to the exchange. So 
So, the, I guess the first step, get all your packs. Second is combine all of them. But start with the lowest ones. Don't, I would wait, I would wait to do it until you do, until you do the high gold set. Wait to do it until you do the high gold set. Cool hair, man. Tanner Hudson. Jeremy Sprinkle. Blaine Gabbard. Ooh. Yeah. Michael Ola. So I don't know how many players we have in those sets, but Trey Pipkins. We're getting down to the wire here. Okay, so that didn't do anything for me. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, basically, all the gold cards. I'm going to calculate the value and see if we already made profit, okay? So, Lee Smith, he's going for 2.8, okay? So, let's uh, put that down here. 2.800. Okay, I'm doing a calculator. 2.800. Melvin Gordon. I'm gonna take the lowest price. So this guy's going for four thousand. Okay. Four thousand. Damon Harrison Sr. is going for I'll just say seven thousand. At that point, look at this. I got three cards. I don't know if you guys can see this. One second here. I got the three cards, and we are already at thirteen. 800 right so that's already we already made profit because at the start we said we spent uh, 11,500 on 23 cards like we already made profit like we're chilling like with these three cards if I just sold these on the market right now at the lowest price I would have made profit already but now we get one two three four bonus cards right I just want to see how much these guys are going for um, Mike Pennell. If they're not showing up, I'm gonna just assume a price of two thousand. I think that's fair. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look up. If I go in Mutt Head here, yeah, two thousand for this guy. But let's let's take a seventy one. So let's look at Chuk. I don't know how to say this guy. Let's let's just do John Jalapio. Let's search him on on Mutt Head. John Jalapio. See how much you going for, my dude? Is going for two point five? So let's just assume two k, right? So if we say two thousand for Lee Smith, one, two, three, four, five. So five of the golds at two thousand that gives you ten, right? And then we said Melvin Gordon was at four, so you're already at fourteen thousand, and so 14, 1, 2, 3, plus 7,000. Oops. You're at 21,000. So right now, okay, so you're at 21,000, right? Assuming you auction everything off, you got to take 10% of that, right? So minus 2.1. You have 18,900 minus your 11,500 that you uh, started off with. So wait, 21 minus 1.5 minus 11.1. So you are at this point, you already made 8,000, right? So that's already proof right there. Um, even after tax, if you auction these off at their lowest possible price, and you could probably squeeze a little bit more, you, I've already made 8,000 on an 11,500 investment. Okay, so. 
that I mean I, I literally did this three times so I, I know it works um, you can see these three guys right here but what I'm gonna do so you can't actually uh, put these power-up ones in sets but again I've already proven that I've made profit on this I'm just gonna do something a little bit just go a little bit beyond and, and see what we get here um, let's see if we could increase the value of these low low golds to uh, high gold so I'm just going to check it out see what we get <coughs> uh, not guaranteeing that you know we might even lose money on doing this so I wouldn't recommend you doing this this is uh, this is probably just another risk if you if you were already ahead of your calculation then literally you don't have to do this I'm just doing this for funsies I've already proven that uh, we made profit Okay, so Sony Michelle, if we're assuming <coughs> 6,000, okay, so about 6,000. So we didn't really gain any value there, really. We just consolidated him into one player. I mean, I can't really mix these two into other ones. So final value here, literally 8,000 profit. So I'm going to keep doing this. Again, shout out to Reaper for letting me know about this idea. Hope this helps you out. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and a sub below. Thanks for watching and good luck exchanging. Catch you in the next one.